this is a great story how, well, a hobby really, has developed into a fantastic subcontract machine shop. When, did, when and where did you start? Right, uh, 2015 we started out uh, on this industrial estate in Sturminster Marshall. Uh, quite small, one mill and one small CNC lathe and went from there. And well, five, five machines now plus your manuals as well. We'll come to more about the company in a minute, but you want to take it that next step. So what have you done? Right, well, we put PSL data track in place to try and uh, make sure we can go down the route of ISO eventually. And uh, full traceability was our, was our main concern. Uh, and also work scheduling, because trying to, trying to organize a workshop with a couple of guys is nigh on impossible, really. <laughs> so so where, did, where first did you see PSL Day Track? Um, I went shopping around on the net for some ERP, really. Yeah. I was looking around at ERP systems, and all of them looked very uh, put together for what you might need, for, yeah. whereas PSL was specifically for this. Uh, and yeah, so I just I gave him a ring and sort of said, look, you know, it's what I'm looking yeah. to do. So it's engineering specific, essentially. Yeah, yeah. Now they've got 26 modules, and they'll have to correct me if I'm slightly wrong there, but yeah. how many have you got? Uh, I'd have to check. I think we've got at least six to eight. Right. But we're sort of using four full on at the moment, and we're pushing through with more and more training to, to extend it. And once we're up and rolling more, we're going to put status boards in yep. and interior, internal uh, component stocks. OK, so, so first couple of modules, we're looking at uh, quoting, for example. Yeah, quoting, and then through quoting to your works orders, uh, that's great for us to line up and be able to see what jobs are due next, what jobs got me on the machine next. Right. From there, actually dispatch delivery notes. We've, we've never really done delivery notes. Uh, something, you know, problem with growing a business when you're a couple of guys, it's difficult. So we do delivery notes now, giving more traceability and certs, and then push through to invoicing to speed up admin. Okay, so you, you saw the system online, on MTD I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got in contact with Jeff and the guys. How they, they, they've done the installation, the training, how's that been? Very quick, right. very quick to be honest. Um, they actually phoned me to chase me up, make sure I'm doing it. Uh, yeah, I've been on top of it and uh, we've made good progress, you know. It's not an overnight thing. Okay. It's going to take months. Um, you do start seeing the payback fairly quick, which is... Uh, you get to actually see where the jobs are. They don't start becoming stagnated. You always get a few jobs that start stagnating. And with the system, it's showing it's got to be pushed through and you need to get it on the machine and it's due yeah. without the customer chasing you. So okay. And when you first took on the software though, what, well, what were you doing before that? Right, well, we operated a restaurant ticket systems. Right. Right, so we, we literally had the jobs lined up on there and just color coded it and ran by date. Um, it worked all right for making sure you knew what jobs you had on but you couldn't schedule anything to his machine and you looked at it and suddenly the next five jobs all had to be on the five axis. Right. So what about quoting? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. As every engineer will tell you, you sit down at the job, you look at it, scratch your head, work out the time roughly and you're still wrong. So, right. so you could have been making losses on some of your jobs beforehand. Yeah, yeah. Have you, with this new quoting system, how long has it taken you? Have you won new business because of it? We have won a few new jobs because of it. Um, it has made us realize with a lot of jobs we have been doing over the months that uh, they probably weren't worth doing, and to relook over them, and some of them again are uh, not viable. So, but you know, it's been good for new business to be able to quote faster, because usually I'd be taking two to three days to quote, whereas now we're quoting same day, sometimes back within two to three hours with a quote. And if customers want multiples, you know, like one, three, five, 10, 12, they can have that instantly rather than sitting down and getting on the phone with the material company and yeah. Okay, so you're going from the quote all the way through to invoicing as well at the yeah. end. Is it an intuitive system? It's fairly easy. Um, <laughs> you know, I'm not very computer savvy myself. It's hard to believe, but I'm not really into the computers, but it's easy. It's, it's easy. not difficult, okay. really. So. There was a bit of a pain point initially, though, wasn't there? Yeah, there's, uh, you've got to put a lot of information in, you know. It's, yep. it's not just press go and easy, it's done. If you don't put the information in, you're not going to get a result. Yeah, but it's good information in, you're getting absolute yeah, quality it. out. Yeah, I mean, you know, you could say at the end, you know, if you haven't, you're not going to get a material number out of it or a certain number. If yeah. you don't put it in at the beginning, you aren't going to get it. But at least it's fully traced, all traceable, right, right through. Um, yeah. Okay, so it's making that, your whole machine shop a lot more efficient. What's next for you guys with PSL? Uh, status board for yeah. all our work in progress, rather than me every couple of days updating our work to list. Yep. We get jobs coming up, we're desperate for this. Can we slip it in? Okay, we probably can. We want to update the board, see where we're at. Yep. And our own component stock for our own products. You know, it's uh, 
running out of that at the moment, we run off of a Kanban system, which is great, but it's very limited. So, so this is going to take you to the next level, really? Yeah, that's and the idea. Also, tying with traceability in due course and your ISOs. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The, the ISO is going to be the big thing for us, yeah. really. Uh, and going down this road, and hopefully within a year, then we can apply and it's something we want to try and do. Without it, I think we'd be very stuck. So. Okay, so two things, though, that you said off camera yeah. is can you run the machine shop without this? You can, but you make your life very difficult. Um, you know, I'm not to say it makes everything easy as pie. You've still got to put the information in, but if you put the information in. Okay. Do you wish yeah. you'd done it at the beginning of when you started the business? Should have done it at the beginning. So, you know, you can put as many machines in as you want and struggle to run them. Yep. At least with this, I could look at it and go, right, I need to. Absolutely essential for you guys then. It is now, yeah. Bill, great endorsement of PSL Daytrack and absolutely essential for your business. Thank you very much. No problem.